Hello, today is day 21 in my daily routine of recording a Cody Bat solution while schools are closed. Um, we are going to head into now and do strings and arrays one at the same time. Um, the reason why we're going to do this is because I want, I want students to understand how strings and lists are similar. So within these sections, there are no loops. It's simply about understanding the structures of strings and the structure of arrays slash lists and how to use them. So first one we're going to do here is hello name and string one. And it says this, given a string name, e.g. Bob, return a greeting of the form hello Bob exclamation mark. So we can look at each of these examples here and we see that we've taken the parameter and we've put the word hello in front of it with a space, don't forget that space, and an exclamation after it. This is a really straightforward problem once you see how to do it um, and you realize you do this all the time. And it highlights this idea of concatenation. That is the process of adding strings together. So if I take two strings and I put a plus between them, it just puts them together. So here, um, we see the word hello, because I have to actually literally write the word hello. And note the space. If I don't put the space here, I get it wrong. Let me take it out and show you. The name, so it will pull whatever the variable value is, and then an exclamation mark. So I hit go. And like I said, often when I'm working with students, they do this, and they say it's wrong. And we always come back and say, don't forget that space. A space counts as an index in a string. And that's it. Um, sometimes this can be referred to as string construction, that idea of building a string. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Have a great day.